<laughs> no, question though. Maybe instead of Bed Bath & Beyond, maybe it needs to be Bed Bath and AI because talk about a dumpster fire. They skyrocketed around 92% yesterday as 240 million shares traded hands, well above the 37 million that the company continues to have when it circles down the drain. It's circling down the drain on top of abnormal ooh, ooh. amounts of bard, volume. Bard, ba bard Bath and Beyond. Bard Bath and Beyond. <laughs> That's their new name. I will end the show right now. Yeah. Garrett's going to get his 12th degree at Bard Bath and Beyond. <laughs> Oh, all right. Look, we've been following the stock Mark, Is there any, is there any normal money flow that you can follow with Bed Bath and Beyond? Are you seeing any? You know, um, what I will tell you is that despite it blowing up to eight, despite it blowing up to seven, everywhere, ever, all traders are doing. If you go out to Jan 2024, you go out to Jan 2025, you will notice massive open interest on the two dollar put and the one dollar put. People will pay $1.50 for a $2 put. They'll pay $0.50 cents for a $1 put because they know this is going out of business. Uh, so the big money flow, uh, what they, all it is is bond vigilantes and, and um, bondholders basically using this as not using any pop here to, uh, to be short this. To put things in perspective, the January 2025 $1 put, all right, one dollar put costs 80 cents that is how certain they are that this thing is going out of business <laughs> mic drop mark a mark <laughs> drop hey uh scott are you keeping an eye on on any zombie plays with bed bath and beyond as it it, it looks like a contender this, this is scary but i think it was this morning i saw something that bed bath and beyond raised a billion dollars and that's pretty right crazy isn't it, it wow. yes raised what? a billion dollars to stave off bankruptcy so kenny back in your hands because this thing might be you know ongoing for a while up and down it's that's pretty crazy to me but uh, you know the debt is over 600 i know operating cash flow negative 607 million dollars operating yeah. cash flow debt over close to four billion dollars so a billion dollars in a raise would help it move it forward, maybe stave off bankruptcy, but ultimately, you know, negative profit margin by 20%, it just, it's just a mess. I don't know where it's gonna go. Um, and you have factor companies now are not, are not even um, providing any inventory to them because they're not able to make payment on inventory. So um, I'm not sure where this one's gonna go, but it's more like a VWAP stock than anything else.